Hey y'all, excuse the hair. It's just, yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> How are you all? Long time no chat. So it's um, Tuesday the 23rd of April. It's actually 11.37. It's gloriously hot and sunny in here. It's beautiful. You can see all the lovely greenery coming back. It's very overgrown and it looks lovely. I love it. Um, my landlady won't, but I love it. <laughs> uh, so... I've got a few things to show you and not much because most of you know I've been working on the butterfly blanket. It's now finished and it's gone. I had meant to record this before I handed over but I forgot. But I do have photos so at some point I will insert the photos hopefully around here. Hopefully I've inserted them. <laughs> Or rather, Duncan's inserted them because he'll be editing this, so he should watch and see that they need to be added in. Hopefully, we we'll hope. <laughs> but um, after I finished that, um, I'd already planned out some bags, and then um, I decided I didn't want to do the box bottom bag, so I done that. And it turns out Denise has been doing the same thing uh, from Dear Designs. She's been doing bags as well, so it's really cool. But this is not quite finished. I still have the second cord to put in. But I'm, well, Duncan right now is hand making the cords. They're Kumihimo cords. Don't know if you really see that. But, um, so it's a hand braided cord. And so I need to put another one in. But this is my first box bottom bag. And it is box bottom. Um, there we go. So I like it. It's actually reversible. So if you want, you can have the blue outside and the pattern on the inside. Now this is my first time making these, so I learned a few things wrong way. So this bag is for me. Um, and the next lot of bags will go up in the shop because um, I haven't sewn for a long time and I've never made a box, box bottom bag until um, this one but actually they're surprisingly easy uh, I'm going to change how I sew the top because I've got three lots of sewing thread um, because when I hemmed I hemmed um, I think about three, three quarters of an inch um, I'm going to take my to put the marking on my machine and I hemmed to that um, which is the smallest marking that they have but it's not quite close enough I don't know if you can see that brought, brought the um, hem there and then I sewed the two together up there I'm going to actually try to hem up there first on that and then when I sew the two together I can sew over the top of that and that way I only have that one and then the bottom one, I don't know, there we go, um, which is the cord in instead of that one as well because I think there's no need to have the three um, so yeah I will hem slightly different um, and on these bits I also did down there as well as there I don't think I need those bits, I think it will look fine without them so I'm just going to do the ends on there um, and this fabric that I got from the range, though very pretty, is really thin. I mean, it's just, you know, it's... So, and the blue isn't from the range. That's actually a massive sheet of fabric that I had lying around uh, for years. And so all of the bags that I'm making at the moment will have the same lining, which is why they will all have the same cord. Um, so I'm going to interface... Uh, so I need to buy some interfacing, payday is 25th, so I can go and get some interfacing then. Uh, and then just to make them a little stiffer. Not super stiff, but I'd like them to have a little more shape and support to them than it currently has. Because though it, it's nice, it's just not quite enough. But I mean, for my first attempt at box corners, I'm really happy. I don't know, if, I don't know how to show this. Um... But see how the seams, they match up perfectly across the bottom and to the sides. Um, same on this side. 
so I'm really happy that I managed to keep everything in line and even on the inside which is also the outside they also match up perfectly and all the seams match up to each layer perfectly so I managed to get it all exactly the same size seamed in the same place and everything which for me was always a challenge because I never sewed straight <laughs> but I managed to I think the problem with my old sewing machine is the foot weirdly sent the fabric off to an angle and I used to have to fight it um, whereas this one isn't damaged and so I actually sew straight uh, so I'm super happy with it because it's my first ever project bag I used to sew clothes not bags um, so this is a learning curve doing the box curves and doing um, the pocket for the cording and all that sort of stuff and the fact that I wanted to make it fully reversible um, meant that I had to make sure I matched the thread colours up both sides and all that sort of stuff. Um, I think I need to take tension up ever so slightly. Don't know if you can see. Um, it's a bit hard because blue on blue. But that one was okay. But this one down here, you can just see the top threads coming through. Um, so you get a little bit of the light blue thread peeking through. Not much. But enough that it, I think upping the temperature, um, the tension slightly should help. Um, so I will adjust the tension for the next one. <coughs> but yeah, I'm really happy with it, and um, I'm gonna, as I said, keep this one for myself. But the rest will go up on the shop at some point. The other fabrics are out there because they're ironed, <laughs> so I can't show you the other colours that are coming but there are some other colours there's still a few extra bits that will go on to the bags um, straps um, so that there's little straps on, wrist straps and things to go on them um, probably really little straps that you can actually put you can clip on some stitch markers I think like uh, Randy has in the inside of hers but hers is ribbon I'm gonna do um, a hand woven strap that will um, work both as clipping on and as a little wrist strap probably I don't know I'm still I mean an on exact details I've even thought about doing a possible pocket to put something in as well um, because I don't have enough of this fabric to do a um, little notions pouch to go with it but I do have enough left that I could probably put a little pocket in it so I'll probably do that but I'm not 100% sure yet um, we'll see how it's looking once I've got into facing that onto the new ones um, I can test it on my one because I don't care if mine goes wrong because it's my bag but I'm happy with it anyway it is really hot in here <laughs> um, so the other thing I've been working on it's another crochet bag. Um, I'm just into the first of the colour color changes. I've actually started the second, but you're not going to be able to see it because it's literally only a couple of stitches. But, oh yeah. So I'm doing tapestry crochet. The balls are in it, which is why it's bowing out a little. But, see, so I've started with a light pink and a dark purple, and I've gone on to the dark pink, and you probably won't be able to tell this at all but the first stitches are now a light purple um, so I'll repeat that again with the new colours um, and then I'll change colours again um, so it's going to be a tallish bag and it's going to have a drawstring top and a strap that matches now I noticed online a lot of the drawstring tops for these type of bags just basically has like four holes dotted and pulls it through and kind of bunches of I don't personally think that looks secure enough anyone could just walk in put their hand in and grab something because um, there's a bit of a thieving problem going on in stores with them <sighs> along with a whole host of other problems let's not go there um, so I'm actually going to do a proper drawstring um, that will cinch it up like this one does as I said I haven't got the other drawstring in this yet so I can't cinch it properly but you know this closes up so no one's going to get their hand in there whereas the ones I've seen online for this style of bag tends to kind of bunch it up like that 
and I think that's too easy for someone to just get their hand in and help themselves. Um, so yeah, I will do something over the t at the top to be able to weave a drawstring all the way through, and I will probably do that as a Kimahimo braid um, in colours matching as well. Um, because I think that'll look nice. So, yeah, there's a few fans, and there's going to be a lot more of those style of bags coming. Um, I'm just doing this out of my head, so I'm not following a specific pattern. Um, and I'll probably do the same with all the rest, I'll just make it up as I go along. Um, so, I've just looked at pictures and taken the inspiration from other people's um, pictures. So, there's loads of styles out there, and so I'm just putting together whatever I feel like as I do it. Um, so, yeah, if you just Google cap crochet tapestry bags you can see there's all sorts of ones and there's loads of patterns out there if you're not um, keen on winging it just use one of the patterns some really nice patterns out there but I just felt like winging it because it tends to be what I do nowadays um, but yeah so that's what I'm currently working on um, I've still been working on that hairpin lace skirt that I was designing but there's been a few setbacks <laughs> I don't like it <laughs> I've changed the design and there's a new design currently being done but the one that I've done if I can take this off and turn it around a minute you have to excuse the mess in here but can you see um, for starters it became a dress not a skirt but there's still another layer to go on I haven't sewn them on because I got to this point and didn't like it and though I quite like this top part the way these have been made they stick out a little um, because when Duncan made them, he made these little bits a little loose. Because Duncan's done all of these for me, bless him, he's been a star. Um, and I just, I don't like the way it's hanging. So I'm going to take this all apart and come up with a new design. Look at the mess. They destroyed it. Everything is a mess. Right, let's just put your back. Attempt to put your back, shall we? <sighs> Sorry about that, hope it didn't make you dizzy. Or make you puke from the extreme amount of mess that is my craft room right now. Um, yeah, things have gone to kaput in here. It's just, it needs sewing, but I don't want to. I want to tidy. Um, I want to tidy. No, I don't want to tidy. I want to create. Uh, and that pile is just odds and bits that need to go into here but I need to create a new shelf um, because the shelf that I had all my oddballs on is now currently fully full and f overflowing um, which is why I've started these tapestry bags uh, because I can use lots of little bits of colour into them I just started with a simple one to start with just so I knew what I was doing, the size, the shape, the way it forms, all that sort of stuff. Um, so I'll be using up all those balls and then I can get to that side and get the balls that are in there onto a shelf. Because uh, I actually have balls, bags of balls all around as well. Um, they're all part use balls that need using up for some kind of project. Um, whereas the shelves that are partly empty, they're full balls. I don't want to put part balls on with the full balls so that I know what I've got. Uh, yeah, so there's a lot of tidying to do around here, but I don't really care right now. Um, none of the stuff that I sell ever hangs around in here. Um, it either goes straight on the mannequin for me to film and photo, and then it gets packed away upstairs so it doesn't get dirty, it doesn't touch these floors or anything like that. So I'm not worried that it's a little messy in here. Um, all that stuff tends to be the stuff that I'm working on um, for testers and things um, or for tutorials that don't get finished <laughs> um, I do need to finish the ones on the inkle looms that you probably noticed there because I just I still haven't finished them and I've got more tutorials to do on the inkle looms I just I needed to get the blank out of the way I've got a TMA due next Thursday so I've got to get that one done and then my EMA due is the last Thursday of the month so I've got a lot to get wrote and sent in um, so that's my next priority is to do that 
and then I'll worry about getting this room sorted because over the summer holidays I'll have plenty of time to get the room reorganised, retidy and work on more craft stuff. So it's a matter of priorities and right now study is priority. But I'm enjoying it. Um, it's Malachi's 14th birthday on Thursday so and as some of you might know the latest Marvel movie comes out at midnight on Thursday. We're actually doing the double billing. We're going to go to um, the, oh what's it called? Mama Thanos, I've forgotten the name of it now. The last one we watched. Oh anyway, um, one of the Avengers. We're going to watch the first part and then the new part that's coming out. Um, straight after, so it's going to be a long time. I'm taking my memory phone because she wouldn't be to sit on because cinema seats are not the comfiest. <laughs> but um, it's actually a nice little family trip because uh, Mally's going, Duncan's going obviously, I'm going, Kurt's going um, and even my brother Stuart is coming along with us. Um, so we're having a lovely little family trip to Southampton to go and watch it, which is really nice. Uh, so other than that, I actually have no plans to do anything. Uh, health wise I'm not doing too bad uh, there's been a little hoo-ha over my care and my endocrinologist who'd done my checkup for my cushions last week maybe before I don't know I don't think I've told you any of this um, she wasn't happy and she was writing to the doctors about me not being treated for my thyroid and not being taught how to use the emergency medicine um, and I actually had a phone call Thursday from my doctor saying they've already sent a prescription to Tesco's for my thyroid meds. So I'm now officially being treated for an underactive thyroid, which is brilliant. Um, it's about time. I've been borderline for absolutely years and they refuse to do anything about it. But because my endro endocrinologist has said that I need to be treated, um, they've actually listened and they're treating me which is wonderful and the added bonus is that um, over here in the UK if you're treated for an underactive thyroid you get free prescriptions which means I'm finally gonna have to, um, don't have to pay for my prescriptions because it's I mean compared to America we pay pittance but it's still a lot of money <laughs> um, it's normally nine pounds something per item on your prescription um, or like I was doing, I bought a prepayment card, which meant that you pay a set amount and then you get as many prescriptions as you want. So that was £10.40 a month that I paid. Um, so I was already saving money by paying that way um, because I have quite a few medicines each month. Because um, obviously there's my um, asthma pump, there's now my thyroid, there's also my blood pressure, when I was on painkillers, there was my painkillers of varying ones, depending on what they had me on. Um, and then there's my emergency cortisol for when I'm sick. Um, so it adds up. Again, nothing like America adds up, but it still adds up. Um, and so now I'll be able to get it for free, which is really nice. Saves me a bit of money. Uh, which means I can spend it on other things that will hopefully improve my health. Uh, though with thyroid meds I can't take any extra vitamins and minerals at the same time because it can mess with them. Oh, and I, there's my vitamin D. Um, she's also not happy with the fact that I'm only given one tablet a month for that. Though it's a high dose. Um, she They haven't monitored me. I haven't had blood tests since October for that. Um, so she wants them to check that and see if that needs adjusting. Which it probably does. Though we're just getting into the summer, so... <laughs> <sighs> who knows we'll wait and see but yeah it is it, it's good me. I've actually had a few good days um no major headaches I've managed to go out for a few walks um pain has been quite bad my shoulder is still extremely messed up um but I felt better than myself Duncan's been off all week and we've just we've done what we wanted we've binge watched Game of Thrones um we've been out for walks um we've just had a nice time and I think that's really helped boost me a little um 
So we'll see when he goes back to work next week how I really feel. <laughs> Hopefully the thyroid meds would have kicked on, kicked in at that point and I'll feel much better. But we'll have to wait and see. So I have no idea how long I've rambled on for but I think I've covered everything. I don't think there's anything new. Uh, I don't know if anyone's interested. I've started a second YouTube channel, not the original one that I planned on them, but this one. Um, it's called Satisfying and Joyful Videos. It's just things that I like doing. Um, so, um, while my nieces that were over, we made slime, and one of my nieces done a video of playing with slime for this ASMR thingies, um, which is up, and she very kindly gave me the sand stuff that she had that like wet sand that's dry sand or something and, you know it molds and you can slice it and do all things which a lot of videos do so we're gonna do some of them and I got a bunch of a whole bunch of other satisfaction videos planned so they're just they're a bit of fun to stare at and relax and just enjoy staring at absolute nonsense for a while which I like doing um, and clearly thousands of other people like doing from looking at the amount of satisfying videos there are out there. <laughs> so I'm just, I'm doing some of them as well, just for a laugh, you know? Why not? <laughs> but hopefully there will be more videos on this channel come the summer. I, I know I keep saying that and I've been really bad at getting anything done, but my workload just became very much, because there's just been so many study things I need to do that once summer holidays hit and I don't have to study, I should be more free because I'm not taking on commissions and then I won't be studying. I'll be free to do whatever I want when I want, which means I should be able to do more of my tutorials um, and patterns and things that haven't been released yet, which should have been by now. Well, we'll have to see, won't we? Right, I'm going to go because I need to go and get a drink because I forgot to bring any in with me. They're all out there and... It's very hot in here <laughs> but it's lovely and I'm not complaining because this is glorious isn't it I don't know if you can hear but I'm surrounded by birds singing and it's wonderful um, they're probably flown around I haven't seen any of my little friendly creatures yet they usually have some birds that pop by and a squirrel and a few cats but none of them pop by yet um, though I think I can hear a wasp will be coming so I'm gonna go because <laughs> we all worked out already that I'm a chicken when it comes to them <laughs> I'm gonna go I will hopefully see you all really soon and I am so sorry that I've been such a crappy presenter and not showing you much over the last few months um, hopefully I'll improve I know most of you don't mind <laughs> but I'll see you all soon you take care bye